when you come back into acting, you, you get Dead Poet Society. Yeah. That first experience, I mean, did that set the bar for you as, as to oh, how God, a yes. film should be made and how the relationships go between the actors and the director and everything? There was an attention to detail, and more importantly, a respect for what was possible. You know, there's a thing that Peter Weir would say, the difference between good and great is like one twist of the screw, but it's the hardest one to do. Oh, it's, yeah. it's so, so much rehearsal, so much thought needs to go into the, the tiniest gesture that ultimately needs to be spontaneous and can't even be planned out. You know, and this was a time period in a culture when even studios valued this. We had three weeks. He, they booked a hotel room for the seven of us as poets and Robin and stuff. We sat in the conference room of the Radisson Hotel, working on our characters, writing our character biographies, doing controlled improvisations, figuring out backstory, each charged with writing other scenes. Kind of stuff I've never done in another movie. But this was my first, and so, Peter was showing us attention to detail. Now this is something later when I met Richard Linklater, I was like, <sighs> you know, or when I got to work with Denzel, you know, you, you see somebody who cares about that. Right, right. Um, who's, who's setting an extremely high bar and who really thinks it matters a lot, you know, whether or not the cup goes like that or like that. Because it's an accumulation. Peter used to say this thing about it's like a sailboat. Every true moment, every beautiful thing, every honest thought puts um, wind in the sail. And every fake moment and every cheat and every lie is a little tear, right? And you can sustain some of them. A few tears, you can st th th the ship will still move. But to make The Godfather, you know, to make a series, to write To Kill a Mockingbird, to do something amazing, it's, it's gotta be no tears. Now, I'm 18. So I think this is normal for a director to talk this way. Right. You, you, you know, and it was, it was years before anybody talked to me like that again. 